Hi everyone, in this video we are going to show you how to properly design archives and category pages. We'll cover different scenarios and we'll learn how to work with the WordPress archives, whether they are for a blog, for a portfolio or for an author archive, a search result or a possible e-commerce. We'll introduce the content lock method and the dynamic options. Note that if you install the demo contents, you have this setup already up and running. But let's start from the beginning. Let's imagine in this video tutorial a common scenario. Assume that with the page builder, we've created our blog page. The layout is cool and works as it should. We have a minimal layout with sleek thumbnails and smooth animated effects. It's possible to choose to edit the page with the back-end editor or with the front-end editor. In this menu we have the links for the category pages. Category pages or archives pages are referred in WordPress as special templates created automatically by the WordPress template hierarchy. These pages have another layout and unfortunately it's not possible to edit these pages since the edit backend and edit frontend buttons are missing. There is only an edit category button that opens the category editor that is used to insert general information on the category, but there are no options to modify the design. This is native of WordPress, and it happens since the archives or category pages are dynamic, they belong to the WordPress archives templates hierarchical system and cannot be edited like normal pages. Before we find out how to design these special pages, let's imagine another scenario. It often happens that users who don't know WordPress core too much make a fairly common mistake. Assume that this is the page you created with Page Builder to be your blog. If in the reading settings of WordPress you set that page as the main blog page, and then you visit the page, you'll find that the layout completely transformed into a category pages layout. Damn it, this is a disaster. What happened? When you set a page as the main blog page in the reading settings, the page is overridden by the WordPress archives template system. I know the concept may seem odd, but this is something native of WordPress itself. Or better, Let's say that this is one of the key concepts of WordPress. So our blog page and our category pages are part of the WordPress archives template, but we can't edit it as a normal page. To style the archive templates in Uncode, you can edit the theme options, archives group of options. Here you find settings to change the appearance of the archive templates for each post type. With the options of the post tab, you can edit the archives of the blog with the options of the Portfolios tab, the Portfolio Categories, so the search results, author archives and possible products. Note that for each type of archive there are various options to modify that template, divided into specific sections of the page, such as the menu, the header, the content, the sidebar and the footer. Let's try for example to open the content options and modify the width of the thumbnails. Remember that the size is defined in twelfths, so for example 6 twelfths refer to 50% of the available width. I save theme options, and I go to refresh my main blog index and the category pages. OK, perfect, it works. Note that these are simple settings that can be used as quick presets, since many users don't need to customise the category pages layouts too much. Well, the layout is neat, but it's certainly not as modern and stylish as the initial layout we designed with Page Builder. This is where the content block comes in. Let's introduce the content block mode and set the content block method in the theme options, posts, header. We have dedicated specific video tutorials to the content block. For now, you only need to know that a content block is a dynamic fragment of content that can be edited with the page builder and that can be used by other pages. This is a unique feature of Uncode that you won't find in other WordPress themes. 
We now see two content blocks that we will assign to the header and to the content parts. You see, in fact, that there is the possibility to set a content block for the header and one for the content. In these content blocks, we'll copy respectively the header and the content of our initial design. And thanks to the dynamic options, we will make the content dynamic according to the category. We need a new content block for the content area that I name Content Archive. And another content block I save as Header Archive. OK, now we have our content blocks. I refresh theme options so that the new contents we have created are included in the options. And I select them. Respectively, in the Posts Header option, I select the Header Archive Content Block. And in the Content Content Block option, I select the Header Content. In the new created content blocks, we can apply or transfer the initial design. So I open with the back end editor the initial page created with the page builder from the WordPress page list. Here we have our post module that generates the post's thumbnail preview. Thanks to the clipboard functionalities, it's possible to copy the content part in the content archive content block. I save the content block. And I repeat the same copy and paste actions for the header. Note that if your design already uses an external content block header, you can avoid to create this content block and use your header. OK, now we have two content blocks, one for the header and the other one for the content, connected with the theme options. Let's see what happens. Are you ready? OK. I refresh our main index and... Here we are, pretty cool. We created our layout and it's now part of the WordPress Archives template system. Attention, there is a problem. The category pages seems broken and looks the same as our main blog page. This is where the dynamic options of Uncode come into play. Let's open our header content blocks with the front end page builder or if you prefer, continue with a back-end editor. Dynamic options can be activated for the most important modules of the Uncode page builder and make the module's content dynamic using the native WordPress value for a given context. For example, the heading module has a dynamic option that can be set to get the title, get the excerpt or description, and get the price if WooCommerce is active. Let's set the Get the Title option for main heading. And the Get the Excerpt or Description for the secondary heading. As seen at the beginning of the video, for each of our category in the Category Editor, it's possible to set a title and a description. That's exactly the data we need to fetch in our headings. In the Category Editor, it's also possible to insert a featured image, which is used as the cover image for the category. Note that the row background has a dynamic option when used inside a content block. When activated, it applies the category featured image or the single post featured image, depending on the template in which it is used as row background image. Let's activate this option. Save the content block. Let's refresh our category pages. All right, here we go. We've created a dynamic header and we have our dynamic title and description. In a few words, when you use the dynamic options in a content block, the content block is used as a matrix to define the design with the page builder that will be populated with other specific contents based on the context it is used.
The headers of our category pages are fine, but the main index has a problem. In fact, if we refresh the index, we lost our custom title, and now it's used the main site tagline. Unfortunately, in WordPress, there is not a special editor for the main index as there is for categories. To edit this text, similarly to how we did for categories, please navigate to Theme Options, Posts, Header, and activate the Custom Title and Subtitle option. If needed, please enter here your title and subtitle. Save Theme Options and let's see what happens. Perfect. We also have specific control over the category main index title and description. Until now, we modified the header and explored the dynamic concept. Now let's modify the main content area of the page. So I navigate to the theme options, posts, contents, and I open the content block, content category with the front end editor. I open the posts module settings, and I activate the dynamic query option. When this option is active, the build query options are not taken in account, and the post module will be populated using the native WordPress queries for a given context. Let's save the content block, and let's refresh the category pages. Here we are. It's possible to see that each category presents only the posts that are part of that specific category. So the content is dynamic based on the context. We have working category pages, while the main archive page presents the complete list of the blog posts from both categories. All right. Note that with this method, you can style and design not only blog posts, but also search results, portfolio archives, shop categories, a custom post type archive, or an author index page. Summing up, thanks to the content blocks and to the dynamic options, it's possible to control, with the page builder, the design of the WordPress archive templates. Shall we change the gap between the thumbnails? I open the content block, I edit the post module setting gap value, save it, this means it's easy to create or modify any kind of layout. And the change applies to all the pages that are using the dynamic content block. As you can see now, all of our dynamic instances of our posts module are updated without the gap. Assume that we want to drastically change the design of the thumbnails in the content area. I go back to the content block and I delete the actual content. Without starting from scratch with the post module settings, I import a wireframe with the wireframes plugin that is part of Uncode. For example, let's import this metro layout from the blog wireframes category. Here we are with the full width metro. I open the module settings and I set the dynamic query option. Let's save it. I save the content block. Perfect. And refresh the main index. Here we are. In just a few clicks, I've revolutionized the look. And here we have once again completely transformed our layout. Currently, the main page and the category pages have the same layout, each with its own specific contents. But what if you want the main page of your blog, portfolio, or shop to have a different layout than the category pages? For example, you need to create an eye-catching homepage. Simple. You can avoid selecting the page in the WordPress Reading Settings options as we did. This way, as in this example, you can design with the page builder a different blog homepage or main index and use the theme options and the dynamic content block to style the archive templates as done in this video. In short, with Uncode, you have all the options you may need to completely control the WordPress archives and categories templates.